Hi, welcome to Cork and Steel's TSA tip. I'm Brian, the Geothermal Technical Service Advisor here at Cork and Steel. Today we're going to talk about Climate Master's new thermostat, the AWC touchscreen Wi Fi stat. This stat's going to be used completely across the total line of Climate Masters from the Trilogy unit, their DXM2 product, and actually through the commercial line. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit how to set that up. And uh, gone is the old thermostat. The ATC stat uh, is the ugliest stat on the market. It's gone, fi finally. So um, this is, happens to be black. Uh, they were green color at the time. Today, now we're using the AWC. So we're gonna go through some initial setup. So we install a new unit. There's a couple things you need to do. Once you get the thermostat installed, you wanna connect it up to your Wi-Fi as soon as possible. Most of these thermostats do need to update their software and they need to do that through the internet. If you have no internet available, you can hotspot it through your phone and allow it to update. Now that's going to take some time. You might have to have a half hour to an hour to allow that to happen. So let's start off with, I've got my unit, I've turned it on, and now what do I need to do? All right, from here you want to swipe across the screen until you see the green fan button and then hold it. Here, you'll have an area where you can scroll down, answer a bunch of questions, whether you're programmable, non-programmable, uh, you know, how many stages of heat you have or cooling, and so on, just select all those. When you're done, hit the house in the middle, back to the home button, and the unit should be ready to go. You shouldn't have to do anything else to the unit. Now, if you change a board or something like that on one of these units where you have to do some configuration, you used to be able to do it through the old stat. You cannot anymore. This has to be done through a pro app or, or a service tool. If you still have the service tool, they'll still work. You can still set up the unit, uh, the board for what unit you know, you're working on at the time. For the rest of this TSA tip, I'm gonna introduce you to the newest member of our geothermal technical family, John Frecken. Hi, I'm John Frecking. Uh, the next part that we're gonna be going over is to show you guys how to connect these thermostats to either a mobile hotspot or a personal Wi-Fi at your home. Uh, again, the first thing you wanna do when you get these things powered on is to get that connected so you can have the updates uh, download to your thermostat. So once you're on this setup screen, a good idea is to take a picture of this because that serial number will match up when you're trying to add that device to your, to your cell phone. So it's a good idea to take a picture of that so you have that handy because that will pop up on the list when you're trying to add that to your mobile app. So then once you hit setup, it is gonna pop up any wireless devices in the area that it wants to put that is available. From here, I'm actually gonna just connect it to my mobile hotspot. All right, so now that you are connected to either a mobile hotspot or your router, this thing will eventually start to push any updates that are available out there. So once this connects to iGate's cloud service and any updates that do push to the thermostat, you will see a blue arrow pointing down as if it is trying to download an update at that point. So once the thermostat has gone through the update process to find out if it is at its latest version, you'll just wanna scroll over to where you see software. And under here, the wireless version should read version 1.08, which is the current version at this time. So from there, you will need to go onto the either Google Store or Apple Store and download the My Uplink app. Uh, once the app is updated, you create an account. To add the thermostat, you will click on this top bar here and click Add System. From there, you will want to find connected devices and like I said, with that serial number that we took a picture of earlier, you will find that pop up here. But if you end up not seeing that serial number on this list, you can enter in everything manually from this point. So from there, you'll hit enter manually, enter connected details, and then from here, you'll input the serial number and the connection string, which both of those will appear, appear once this is connected to any either mobile hotspot or router. All right, so once it is connected, um, it will appear as a blank screen, so you will need to go in there and add 
what that homeowner wants to see at that point, whether it be temperature, humidity, system status. Um, you'll just choose which options you want to appear on that home screen and then kind of go from there. Now at this point, well, I'm gonna show you how to get this thermostat connected through the Pro app, uh, which will allow you to basically configure the system if you do not have one of these service tools. Um, so from here, you want to go to the fan button again and hold that down. Once in here, you'll scroll up to AP access and then press yes. So from the app at the top right, you'll click the plus button. You'll connect locally, scan QR code. and then click join. There you go. Now from there, you can check the status of the system or change any of the configurations of the system, including airflow, uh, sizing. Now, once you are done with the AP access, uh, in order to remove this thermostat from your Pro app uh, and to get it connected back to the customer's Wi-Fi, just as simple as pulling the thermostat off of its sub base and plugging it back in. Once it reboots, it will end up resetting itself and reconnecting back to the homeowner's Wi-Fi. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to call John or myself. Thank you. Thanks for watching.